You talk about childbirth earlier on, <laughs> as if giving birth to the little darlings is enough. You've then got to raise them, haven't you, Diane? Uh, and we've got, we've got three examples of, uh, of childhood behaviour here. The good, the bad and the messy, we're calling it, aren't we? Here's the good. This is little Zoe. Terribly proud her parents are, performing and playing the guitar rather brilliantly. Let's have a little look at this. She is sensational. <laughs> Phenomena, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Let's have a listen. Well done. She needs to work on her performance stage moves, I think, a little. But no, she's I, a genius. I like that. We like Moody, that. Perhaps as well. And now this is a little lover. The parents haven't submitted the name of this, and you might guess why. Because this is a little lad who's very excited about a toy, but his laugh we think's a bit Bond villain. Have a little look. See what you think. So that's the bad. Do you want to hear that again? Go on, let's listen to it. <laughs> and this is the one I really like. This is the one you're going to love at home. This is what happens when you leave two children with access to a cupboard with flour in. Have a what look. What are you doing? Yeah. She left the room for a few minutes. They're creative. What can they do? Wow. And they've managed to create a lovely snowy Christmas scene all over Mum and Dad's front room. I don't know. It's just ghastly. Oh. If this goes on a little bit further, you'll hear yeah. one of the kids go, what? What happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, I think we know what happened. No, no. Yeah, we know what's, what happened. What's the problem, So, Mama? look, uh, yeah. we want to know... The kind of things you've been through particularly, is there a moment when you thought, oh my giddy aunt, when you've left the room, come back, I know they're hacked off the fringe of their sister or something like that. Well, have you ever had that 